Hello learner, this is Cell Touch and in this video series, we'll be learning about Vim and how to convert Vim into an integrated development environment. If you see out there in the market or in the web development community, there are two most important text editor that are being used by developers widely. The first one is the sublime text and the other one is the atom text editor. So these are the two important text editor that you see everywhere. But in this series, we'll learn about Vim and I'll show you why Vim is very much important for a web developer to do all the development work. The first and the most important thing is Vim is present on every Linux machine and one day or the other day, you have to use a Linux machine because most of the servers out there are on Linux platform and on Linux, Vim is by default, so you need to learn Vim. The second point is you never have to use a mouse if you start using Vim. So you will leave your mouse and do all the text editing work by using your keyboard. Suppose I'm using sublime text and inside sublime text, I have to copy and paste a function. Then what I'll do, I'll leave my keyboard and I'll go to my mouse. I will use my mouse to select some text or some lines. And then again, I have to paste it using my mouse. So I'll show you. Suppose this is my sublime text and this is just a simple file. Any file will be there. And suppose if, if I have to copy this function. So if I have to copy this function, I have to move my hand from the keyboard. So there's a distraction. Then I have to select this, these lines and I have to use either control C or using my mouse. I have to copy it. Then if I want to paste it, then again, I have to use my mouse and then again, I have to go my keyboard. And after going my keyboard, I have to place my cursor on a suitable place. And then I have to either press control V or I have to use my mouse and paste command to paste the text. So this makes so much distraction. First I'm on the keyboard, then I have to go to the mouse, then again on the keyboard and again on the mouse. So it kills our time and doesn't provide efficiency to us during our development process. So if you're using Vim, you will leave using your mouse and your efficiency will increase. The third point is Vim is the production's environment savior because we develop products that are being deployed on a production server and on the production server, if some issues come, then we have to go there and we have to solve this, those issues or bug. And if you go on a production server, 99% chance is it will be a Linux system. And on those Linux system, you will not get either sublime text or atom. So you'll get Vim there by default. And if you, if you are using Vim in your development environment, then on the production system, it will be very easy for you to edit the text to fix the bugs. Vim uses plugin based architecture. So if you want to enhance your Vim, you can use new plugins out there in the market and you can enhance your Vim. Like I can show you one important website, which is Vim awesome. And if you go to Vim Awesome, then you will see a large number of plugin list. You can see these are these all other plugin and based on the different category, you have plugin like for code display, these plugins are there for language completion. These uh, for language, these plugins are there. So, so many plugins are there and you can use all these plugins in your Vim to make it a integrated development environment. Sublime text and Atom are also based on plugin architecture, but I'm focusing on Vim. So I'll say that Vim is also using plugin based architecture. It means Vim is not different from Sublime and Atom in the field related to plugin. That is, which means that Vim in Vim also we can download plugin and we can enhance the functionality of Vim. The most important point for using Vim is it increases your muscle memory. So you, you will ask me how, how Vim does that. So suppose a HTML text is there where it says inside the UL tag, there are two li item list items, li text one and text two and the, and the UL tag is closed. Now suppose I want to remove everything from inside the, inside the UL tag. So if I'm using sublime text, I'll go, I'll select li tag by dragging my mouse and I'll use my backspace button. 
but if I'm using Vim, then I'll use CIT. So CIT means C stands for change, I inside, I stand for inside and T stand for tag. So it says change inside tag. So change everything which is inside the tag. So inside the tag means what? I have to place my cursor inside tag. So suppose my cursor is on UL tag. So if my cursor is on UL tag and if I press CIT, then everything inside that UL tag will be deleted. And if my cursor is on LI tag and if I press CIT, then it will delete everything inside my LI tag that is this text one. So you can see by learning these small commands like CIT, CIW, DIW, we can increase our muscle memory. One important other command is DIW. D stands for delete. I again instead for uh, stands for inside. So I in the CIT also in, stands for inside and inside DIW it also stand for inside. So if I'm on text one and if I press DIW then it will delete the world. Delete this word. I don't have to select this or I don't have to press the backspace key five times or four times to, to delete this text. I have to just use the in, I have to just use my muscle memory and I have to type DIW and it will delete the text one or text two depending on whether my cursor is placed. If my cursor is on text one, it will delete this word and if my cursor is on text to it will delete that so you can see by just learning these small commands you can increase your efficiency and you can do all the text editing using your keyboard only so talking of keyboard if you start using vim then it helps to learn typing and for a web developer or for any developer typing increases your efficiency so if you start using vim your your typing becomes good and in turn your efficiency increases the most important point that i want to tell you is that you won't be able to learn vim in first attempt if you start using vim you'll get frustrated you will leave it you will again go to sublime text or atom and i'm betting that you will not be able to learn vim for the first time but i'm i'm giving you the guarantee that if you learn vim you'll fall in love with it and you'll say that how why I, ha I have not been using vim for all these days so if you get disheartened or if you get frustrated by using vim for the first time then leave it for some days again come back to vim and learn it but please do learn vim because you'll see the real power of vim when you start using it so this was all for vim introduction if you like my channel please subscribe to it if you like this video please give a thumbs up thank you happy